All right, on Sapphire, we're going to do a classic smoky eye. One thing you may notice, now I've already foreheaded, foreheaded, foreheaded her foundation. I've already foundationed her forehead and her eyelids. I've concealed them. You'll notice her eyelids, I concealed them just a little bit lighter than her skin tone so that everything I'm about to do really shows up. And that really helps on bronze ebony skin. Also, you'll notice that I kept a little bit of highlighted area in this area in the forehead. Now, I didn't do her all of her foundation because I'm about to do a smoky eye. So I'm going to be dripping lots and lots of color. And I like really clean, smooth skin underneath. And so I'm going to go back and clean up after I do the smoky lid and then apply her foundation so it stays perfect. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a stiff, flat domed brush, my number 22. And I'm going to take a just a nice matte beige and just highlight her brow bone. This will also give her a nice edge to her brow. Now since um, Sapphire is so wide set, you know, many times I've taught you where I will do a little bit of a highlighted effect right here to kind of make it a more wearable smoky eye. For her, she really can take that really deep darkness on the inside. So I'm going to do a classic smoky eye where it's really deep all the way around because her eye can definitely wear that. Highlighting the brow bone again. Other side. I'm just going to do a quick layer of mascara. Um, Sapphire has very curly lashes naturally. I am going to do a false lash because this is a smoky eye. You have to do, you don't have to. I like to do a false lash with a smoky eye. But I still want to kind of see some lashes that I'm painting because it helps me feel my way through a little bit better. And you need to do a layer before you put the false lashes on anyway, so I'm just going to do it now. Now, of course, your shade choices have to be a little richer and more intense because it is bronze ebony skin. You know, notice that normally when we're doing our darker skin tones, we'll go with like an ochre shade. That's going to look ashy on her. I'm actually going to go for her mid-tone with a nice warm shade that is more appropriate for her skin tone. So just keep that in mind. I'm bronze and ebony. So it's like a matte ginger. Taking my number 27 brush because I want it to be flexible so I can really blend. having my number 28 handy to blend it out. And then look down for me, just starting at the base of the lash line, working it all the way across that lid, starting to create that depth, working it up towards the brow bone. Another layer. Because smoky eye is all about the layering. my clean number 28, blending that into the highlight shade. Now doing the other side. Blending where it meets the highlighter. I'm going to take a little bit more detailed of a brush and take a little bit more, a little bit more of that mid-tone. Just get it really concentrated, nice and heavy at the base. Now, with a smoky eye, it's all about the blending and building to color. I'm now going to take a dark, rich, mahogany brown, and I'm going to start to build my depth. I'm going to start patting it at the base for some extra color.
Then I'm going to take my number 28, grab more of it, and start to smoke it out. Blending into the crease, so you're getting it darker at the base, working your way out. My fluffier 27, to start to blend it up. Now I'm going to start with a dark burgundy. At the base, once again, patting it in, get concentration of color. Blending it out. Open and look down. Now look down. Open with your eye. Now look down. There you go. Blending it out. Look at me. I gotta wipe off some of that. This is exactly why we wait to do the foundation after. A little bit more burgundy. Getting it right at the base. Patting it in with 30. Then blending it out. Now I really want it to be nice and intense. Now I could just line and then blend that liner out. But what I'm going to do for more color, got to clean a little bit of that off. Oh girl, we've had a lot on there. Um, is I'm going to use a cream, a black cream shadow, and I'm really going to use it to smudge at the base of the lash line and smudge up and out. So starting at the base, open and look down. You're going to work it all the way across, pulling up so you get that really nice smudginess. You could smudge out liner, but a cream will work better for you. giving me the intensity that I want. I'm going to take a little bit of, of that product off so that I can blend with this brush as well. Get my cream blended out really well before I go to put a powder over it. Now we're going to follow that cream with some matte black shadow to make it even more intense at the lash line. So just using number 18 brush, up and look down, yeah. We're going to lay it right 
at the base, blending up, getting lots of nice color at the base. at me. Okay, then I'm going to take number 30, just do some black shadow, blending it out. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to give her some lashes. All right, so we can take a measure of the width, and she can take the entire lash. If her eye was smaller, we would need to trim it. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to color the band of the lash with either a cream or a liquid. Make it look more natural when it's on. Then we're going to apply the glue. To the band. Then we're going to start to roll it while it dries a little bit. Especially for you because you have a very round eye. So I'm going to lay it right, open and look down. Double shot, there you go. Right at the base of the lashes. Okay, so we we're finishing up applying the other lash, and while that is drying. Now I've made sure to wait long enough to make sure I've rounded out nicely and it's sticking to the inside of each eye because Sapphire's eyes are so round. I'm going to go ahead and start to clean off everything we dropped so you can get a clear vision Look up as to just how much eyeshadow we dropped and the importance of doing this part of the face after. That should begin to give you an idea. That's just from the mixture of the shadow and the eye cream together. It's crazy. I mean, you could do it and just be super, super careful, but you wouldn't get it as smudgy and nice and smoky if you didn't really go for it. That's what came off. <laughs> Thus being why. Shadow first. Yes, and we already pulled this much off, and so there's this much more still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to start to foundation the lower half. Now I'm going to, I want to brighten and highlight your face, so look up for me. So I'm going to use a lighter shade underneath the eyes, the top of the cheekbone. And you're going to really already start to see what a difference that makes with your skin tone.
and using her natural shade everywhere else. All right, now that her foundation is finished, I'm gonna take and start to do underneath her eye. I'm gonna use my number 13 brush and her mid-tone, that warm ginger color, look up. And I'm gonna to start to lay down some color so I can blend out. Now using my cream again underneath the eye for intensity, look up for me, keeping it close to the lash line. Now I really want this to be intense at the lash line, so I'm gonna take a black eyeliner pencil. Look up for me. And I'm gonna line the inside wet tissue. Look down for me. Top and bottom. Okay, now we're going to mascara the bottom lashes. And then we're going to mascara and blend the top lashes into, look down for me, the false. Making sure to get the insides so they blend. Now we're gonna add a little color, just a nice soft brick to contour with. Keeping the cheeks pretty minimal because your eyes are dramatic. A little contouring on the nose. Blending it in really well. Okay, 
And then finishing with a really subtle beigey lip. Okay, so the important thing to remember when doing a smoky eye, a classic smoky eye, is we want it to be the most intense at the lash line. What really helped us here is using a cream rather than just a pencil and blending it out. It gave me more control, more blend, and more intensity. Um, and then because of her skin tone, we made sure we used really rich, warm shades to make sure everything showed and worked with her skin tone. Okay, so I used matte vanilla, then I used a matte ginger, then I used a matte mahogany. Then I used a shimmer burgundy. Then I used a matte cream, black cream, blending it out. And then I used a matte black over that matte cream. And on her cheeks is some apricot. And her lips is a sandy beige.